We are going to repaint the bath. We're going to get rid of the old 70s lilac colour and bring it up to a contemporary white and make this bathroom look modern. The tools we require for this will be a uh, drop sheet, buckets, some stirring sticks, some wet and dry sandpaper, cleaner, solvent and most importantly the paint and some protective gear like gloves, mask and goggles. First of all we're going to thoroughly clean the bath. Unfortunately with a bath of this age you get a lot of body fats that sit on the surface and uh, to get a great result you need to thoroughly clean. Preparation is everything. Now that we've thoroughly cleaned the bath, we're now going to sand it with a wet and dry sandpaper. Make sure to try and get all the rust spots off and get the shine off the enamel now. That would help the other paint adhere. Now that we've sanded down with wet and dry sandpaper, fresh water, thoroughly clean the bath, then we're going to dry it, let it sit for a while, and then we're going to rub it down with the solvent. Now that we've thoroughly sanded the bath and cleaned it, we're going to do one more clean with the solvent to get rid of any traces of body fats, contaminants, dirt, anything. The solvent has quite a strong odour, so you might want to wear a dust mask and you're in tight area, otherwise you can open the bathroom door and get plenty of ventilation. Okay, now that we've finished rubbing it down with the solvent, let's let it dry. Let's go have a cup of tea and then we'll come back and tackle the next bit. The next step will be to tape around the silicon lines. We'll also tape around the waste pipe so we don't get any paint on that. And probably with this type of style of bath, you notice the faucet here goes onto the bath. Let's cover that so we get no drips of water on our paintwork. Our next step is to use tile and tub. There's a part A and a part B inside this container. Don't forget, these are quite strong, so wear a dust mask or keep the door open for ventilation. Thoroughly stir A and B with two separate paddles and you need to stir each by about five minutes. Okay, now that we've stirred that for about five minutes, we're going to combine parts A and part B together into either a metal container or a solvent resistant container. Stir thoroughly again, then you need to divide that in half into a second bucket. The reason being, one will be one coat, the other one will be the second coat. Put a lid on that, put it in the fridge, and this now needs to sit for one hour to get up to room temperature before we can coat it onto the bath. Now that's been sitting at room temperature for an hour, give it another good stir and we'll be ready to paint the bath. Either wear a mask or keep the bathroom door open for ventilation. We'll start at the top of the bath on the edges and work our way down. We've finished our first coat, we now need to leave it for a minimum of 12 hours before we can do our second coat, but if you're stuck with time you can leave it up to 36 hours. And I hope you've left your other tin of paint in the fridge. It's now been 24 hours, we've taken the second part of the paint, our second coat, out of the fridge. It's been sitting here for an hour now, so it's up to room temperature. We're going to put on our mask, stir the paint for about 5 minutes and do our second coat. Now remember this stuff is quite potent, strong smell, so don't forget to open the door and get plenty of ventilation. Now that we've finished our second coat, leave a minimum of 24 hours before we take the masking tape off. And for best results for this project, this bath needs to fully cure for five days before using it. 